Melissa Kerner from FriendYourBody.com, the place to take charge of your health and transform your life. And today I'm going to share with you how to make homemade barbecue sauce. Now Labor Day is just around the corner and that's a really popular holiday for most of us to be barbecuing. But I encourage you not to resort to buying the store-bought conventional barbecue sauces. Why is that? Because they're loaded with harmful chemicals. You know, they've got sugar, some of them have soy, some of them have corn and potato starches, high fructose corn syrup, nothing good. So it's really simple just to make your own sauce. And I've got a really healthy, easy, and delicious recipe that I'm really excited to share with you today. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need about a cup of diced sweet onion and two or three cloves of uh, diced garlic, so I've got them combined here. You're going to need about a tablespoon of coconut aminos, which is a great healthy substitute just for soy sauce. Uh, you're going to need eight ounces of tomato sauce. Now this is just plain crushed tomatoes. There's nothing added. There's no salt or sugars or spices or anything. So I like to get plain so I can dress it up myself. And then I've got all my spices uh, laid out here. So I have a teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of dry mustard, teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of basil, teaspoon of chili powder. And then I've got three tablespoons of chicken stock. Um, this is actually just an organic store-bought brand, but by all means, if you make your own chicken stock, that's the good stuff. You know, it's always the best stuff to use, and sometimes I'll use my own as well. Uh, and then finally, I have... Um, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And then to sweeten the sauce, um, you have different options. I'm going to use um, about an eighth of a teaspoon of stevia, um, but you could use maple syrup and honey, which would be quite flavorful. So I encourage you to use what works for you. So here's what we're going to do. Really simple. I'm going to take my onions, and I've got my pan uh, heating up over here. I'm just going to put them in. And I've got a tablespoon of coconut oil melted in the pan. Just a little tip for you when you're putting oil in a pan, make sure the pan is cold first and you slowly heat the oil. That way you don't damage the oil. So I'm going to just let these onions saute for a little bit. And you want to let them um, saute until they're translucent. So they should almost be clear. And then all we're going to do is just combine all the other ingredients and just let it simmer for a few minutes. And that's it. Okay, so after about three or four minutes, my onions are now translucent and I'm ready to combine all the other ingredients. And I'm going to give you a sneak peek of, uh, of what it looks like so you'll know that they're ready. So these are now ready to go. We can start combining all the other ingredients. So now I'm going to just add my tomato sauce and I'll add my coconut aminos, my apple cider vinegar, and I've got my chicken stock, and then I've got all my spices. here and you can add your sweetener whatever sweetener you choose to use I like to use stevia because it doesn't impact blood sugar levels and I'm personally really sensitive to sugars but maple syrup or honey would taste delicious in here so I'll put that aside and I'm just going to mix everything so that the ingredients are well combined and then once I've mixed it I want to bring the the mixture to a boil and then once it reaches a boil I'm going to let it simmer on low for about 20 minutes and it's just a great way to let the all the flavors combine and also it will naturally thicken the sauce so as you can see it's coming to a boil There we go, and now I'm going to turn it down to low. And you can see it's a little bit watery, and I want to let that thicken a little bit. And 
And now what I'm going to do is put a cover on it. And I'm going to let it simmer for about 20 minutes. All right, so there you have a healthy and delicious barbecue sauce that you can use to marinate chicken, pork ribs, I mean, any kind of meat you like. Um, you can put it on pizza. Um, I'm, next month I'm going to be doing a post about my favorite barbecue paleo pizza and I'm going to use the sauce on there. So there's all kinds of different ways that you can use it. So I hope that you enjoy it. Um, and I, as always, uh, I want to hear from you. Uh, so tell me about some of the different ways that you can use this sauce or if you have uh, ingredient substitution ideas or you have your own barbecue sauce, please post it. I would love to hear from you. So head on over to our blog. And as always, if you enjoyed this recipe, please share it with your friends and family so they can benefit from it too. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all of our updates. And if you're looking for some resources to help you take charge of your health and transform your life, and of course get some personal insights from me that I only share through email, make sure that you head over to friendyourbody.com so you can sign up for our free weekly health, fitness, nutrition tips and recipes. So as always, I encourage you to stay focused on your health and continue moving forward by making small and simple healthy changes in your lifestyle so that you can look and feel your absolute best. So thank you so much for watching today and I look forward to talking with you soon. All right, have a great day.